Um, I'm Adam Williams. I'm the Instruction and Research Librarian here at Wheelock College Library. Um, I'm Mara Kramer. I'm the e-learning and reference librarian at Wheelock College Library. You need to incorporate um, scholarly articles into your papers and projects for school and we can help you get a hold of those. Um, we can also help you to search more efficiently. Um, that way you can get your hands on what you want sooner. I have, I have what I say in classes and it, and it tends to be true where you know like really good information uh, leads to better work that you do in classes and libraries are, are a really strong component to that. People get their information from public media or from the newsstand or you know shopping for groceries and there could be some interesting thing that a famous actor did with their child with autism and yet is it evidence? Is there research? Is it really something that our teach our students at Wheelock should be taking that as information about children with special needs and they really need to be introduced to what the, the, and the research is showing that is necessary for children to understand um, about how children, what kind of strategies to use and to really get the, the good source of information. Um, I went to the library because I was working on a research project for my research methods class and I needed to find at least two articles after the year of 2007 about college student success in their grade point average in relation to how many parents they grew up with in the home. The next thing I have to do is a literature review on the articles that we choose to use for this mm -hmm. project. And it has to be published within the last seven years and they have to be relating to the topic that I chose. We browsed our internet databases to find articles and he taught me how to refine my search so that more results would come up. We're going to start taking out the key concepts here and then we're going to start trying to find synonyms for them essentially. Information isn't as easy as you think it is and this may be something that uh, you two have experienced where um, uh, it's it's information is pervasive but really the trick is to figure out what what is actually good to use and librarians are sort of experts. I really knew that you had to refine search like that like I usually just type the question into Google and go from there but now that I know how to use our internet database I don't even use Google anymore. In my curriculum class I'm working on a project and I'm building a lesson plan for assistive technology so I was looking for book resources from the library to help me with my project that I could include and that I could show children. So Adam helped me to figure out what kind of books I was looking for, um, enter the information into the database, and then go into the library and actually find the book. So we need to continue on. Here's J-P-Y. Uh, and then if we come here, uh, J-P-Z. So now we look at what's the next Thing. So we got to the Z's, now we do eight. It was really helpful. I think that I got a really good idea of how the library works and I feel more comfortable using the database on my own. I think that a lot of times we think that finding books is intimidating and we always ask the librarian, so being able to do it myself, I think that's a good skill to have. Interlibrary Loan is a way for students, faculty, and staff to get materials from other libraries, whether it's just from a manual, which is just a couple blocks down the street, or from somewhere in California. I've had requests from faculty that I've actually gotten materials from Canada on occasion. So it's just a way to get materials. While the Wheelock Library has a lot of great stuff, we don't have everything. No library can have everything. So it's a way to, to get materials that you might find through searches in our databases or through um, work cited lists in articles that you're reading um, and get those articles and... Research papers that I got this year were the best I've ever got. They were well informed, they, were, they had looked at some good solid research, students got excited by what they learned and didn't realize what, what, was, the, what was available to them. And in fact, a few students even made them think they wanted to study autism or certain areas that they hadn't really knew as much about. So I think it opens up a whole world of, of information that I don't think students knew initially. So it's important. We have, uh, we staff the desk with people who can help you with your research and finding articles. So 
anytime that we're open, you can just walk in to the library and get somebody to help you with your research. Um, you can call us, 617-879-2222. Um, you can email us uh, your questions and we can get back to you. We can do a little bit of information um, searching on our own and get back to you with some suggestions. Um, like Adam said, we have the research consultations where that's like, so if you walk into the desk, that's kind of drop in and we can help you for as long as we can help you, as long as you have time. Um, the research consultations are usually like an hour long and that's one-on-one -on -one time that Adam or I set aside in our day to work with you on your specific research project. They can find me here in the library. I'm usually here either from 7.30 till 3.30 or 8 to 4 during the week. Uh, they can get me at uh, ill at wheelock.edu or at my direct number which is 617-879-2245 and you know coming to the desk is is okay too. Just stop in and visit. I mean, we're here to help students and faculty. It's like the whole purpose of our job.